Hello everyone. We are going to continue uh, with if uh, statement or conditional statement. We will see more example in this lecture. We are going to concentrate on Boolean uh, variables and uh, this will be the PowerPoint slide slides uh, I can say 67 to 70 and then 75 also uh, okay so uh, actually chapter 3 so we are still working on chapter 3 Okay, so let's say I have x equal 0 and y equal 2, right? These are all my initial value. Then I'm going to write down if x is less than y. So is this true? Uh, x is less than y. So let me see. If x is equal 0, if y is equal to the result of x less than y is going to be true right so it says if this happens if this is true if this statement is true then then what to do print mm, yes and then if this is not true else what happens uh, print no x is less than y less than actually let me x is less than y or less than or equal to equal to y right okay let's run this this is yes because it's passing through this condition right and then if we have something like this greater than so what's going to be uh, to happen x greater than y is not true right it's not going through this one uh, uh, and then it will go through this one right so now you see what happens or if i could if i keep this and just change the role and have this then you will see uh, we are going to see the statement that is else right and then what is the statement else x is greater than or equal to y okay so what else if i don't think we saw this one actually if x happens then print yes what happens in this situation let's say x is equal to and if you print this means uh, yes right and then what this means means this is a true number right and it is always true okay that's why always we are going to see the result is yes and then let's see this situation if x is equal two as well and then here if x is equal equal and this is the condition that says equality when we are talking about conditional statement we cannot have just one uh, equality here the two equality is going to make it clear if they are true or not right and then the result will be yes 
and then here I'm going to say if x is not equal to this says not equal to and then in this case if it is not equal to they are not equal and then as you see oh the result was not printed because well that was actually a good uh, example so we forgot that we should have a so we know that x is equal to 2 right it's not going to pass through this right if x is equal not equal uh, if we have x not equal to y, so these two should not be equal, right? So now we have not equal. Okay, so let me have another thing. If x is equal equal y, they are equal. Else else what happened they are not equal right print they are not equal so what do you think what should happen two is not equal three right it's going to passing skip and going to go through this one so the answer will be printed in this way okay so these are all the um, what is that a uh, boolean expression right this one this one this one not equal to equality and less than or um, here also less than what about less than or equal to so let's see what happened if x is less than or equal to y is that yes x is less than three right then they uh, they are either less than or equal to actually let me be more specific x is either less than or equal to y okay so we see that it's going to go, go through this condition because x is either less than or equal to so x is either less than or equal to y okay what is the other condition i can say x is greater than or equal so x is either greater than or equal to y or equal to y so what happens now x is greater than y no x is equal y no so none of this happened right what happens this one happens x is less than y Okay, so now I'm going to go back here. So what I said, this first statistic means x is either less than or equal to y, right? This one will be x is x is greater than y. Good. This one's also good. Let's check this one. Yeah, this one's correct too. Okay, so another or so if x or y then print x or y so what happens here let me uh, first of all see if we already have a value for x no if we already have value for i no so x and y are not initialized we tried x and y are not initialized already 
right? So in this situation, what will happen? X is not defined. So here we are going to write down X is equal to 2, Y is equal to 3, and then X equal to or y equal 3 and then it's going to go through this statement right so what this means if this one is true or if this one is true print this out yes this is true because we have a value for x this is true and then this is true as well right so let's see something uh, this situation we have true we have true and then print what happens we have either x is true or y is true then we are printing x or y is true right do you remember or as uh, what or does or says if at least one a statement is true then the result of or is true means if i have i'm going to paste and say okay now this one is false so what at least means is just one of them needs to be true then result will be printed out as a true right we see that or x or y is true so if i have both of them false What happens? This one should not print out, right? Let's see if we are right. Yes, nothing prints out. Nothing prints out because the X or Y is not true. Then it skips, skips the if state meant and doesn't print anything okay so let's go through and okay so what and says and says um let me write down and and says if both of the statement both of the statements are true then the result of and is true so let's see what happens so both of them are false right we don't see anything printed out why because nothing prints out because x and or is not true this whole statement here is not true let me put this also in parentheses then it will skip the if statement and it doesn't print anything, right? Okay, so let's copy this, paste it here, and then let's make one of them true to see what happens. So according to, um, actually, I should not delete this. So let's write down true. Oh God. Okay, so I messed it up. True. Okay, 
see again we don't see anything why because both of these must be true in order to the result of and to be true means this one should be true and this x must be true in order to have a result printed the way it is okay now you see that okay i'm going to go back because i copied all of them but i didn't fix the everything is fine then so we saw all the situation for and all the situation for or so if just one of them is true the result of or is going to be true if both of them are true the result of and is going to be true this is the uh what is that boolean expression okay so we have other also if a statement we call them analyzing analyzing a statements so in analyzing a statement actually this is a still from chapter three and uh, powerpoint slides 85 to 88 so um you know what actually i have a kind of edited your the powerpoint i uploaded for you maybe there are like two or three pages um, um kind of um have mistake uh maybe it's starting from 82 but uh, you can still uh, read through the powerpoint and see the topic find the analyzing a statement topic to see um, to read the chapters I mean those statements from the book okay so what is this statement for example if I have a character u and I want to see if this character is in a word u and m so then if it is true then so if this is true means u is in unm then print yes it is so yes u is in unm so this expression the whole expression is true so if this is true if the statement this one is true means u is in unm then print the statement below and then let's say if this is not true what happens it doesn't print anything right so here i could create else statement else print no it is not and then see uh, we have a else statement printed out else actually print section of else statement printed out okay so we can also have sometimes two print a statement and i i said that so let's see i can have print again yes and then i can have another print here again no look so both of them will be printed out and then let's say i'm going to copy this paste again and then let's say i have a whole um, kind of print a statement after this and say if a statement is over means after everything is done checked everything 
now come out and print this one and the indenta indentation shows that this is the last part after if statement and then as you see everything is over and then it came out and read this part right um okay so let's see what we have let's have maybe one last example using input Let's say weight is equal float. Do you remember we can accept input as a floating number? And then I'm going to say how many pounds does your luggage weigh? And then so look if I enter this uh, it's going to ask for input right this is the input so this is requesting input and then if um, this weight is greater than 50 then print The, there is ten dollar charge for each extra pound exceeding forty LBS. So now that I said this, I can print another statement calculating this. Your total charge is going to be now I'm going to calculate that how I'm going to get the weight and then subtract that from 40 right so imagine if the person entered entered 123.2 it's going to be subtracted from 40 and then the difference is going to be multiplied to 10 right based on the statement it says here over 40 the difference is going to be multiplied to 10 and then else what is the result of s s uh, else says weight is less than or equal to 50. so weight is less than or equal 50 right in this situation now we want to print you can take your luggage as a carry-on oh actually let me use this opportunity to talk about else if condition so let's say i want to make a category now i want to say now if weight is less than 25 okay so this is the else if condition less than 25 then it's going to print out you can carry you can take your luggage as a carrier so if um, your luggage is greater than 50 this is going to happen you are going to pay extra if your luggage is less than 25 you are going to uh, carry it as a carrier right and now else happens means whatever remains so what is whatever remains it is going to be neither this one nor this one right let me comment this out so what that means means 
um, the person luggage is means luggage is greater than 25 or equal than 25 but less than 50 less than what less than or equal or equal 50 right okay great so this is the use of else if so this is else if. and then your luggage is checked in there is no extra charge and then at the end everything is done let's print out have a good trip okay let's print this let's run this to see what happens okay if my luggage is 120 pound enter so what happens it's going to go through this statement which is going to subtract 120 from uh, subtract 40 from 120 and then multiply to 10 right and then my extra charge will be 800 dollars oh i forgot to write down the amount of dollar one twenty. Okay, and then uh, let's say let's say my luggage is less than fifty, but oh wow! Look at my mistake. So I said exceed forty pounds, right? So why do i write down 50 here okay let's write down 40 and let me change all wrong statements okay so let's run it again uh oh what did i do while it was running let me save this okay so what happened why kernel was running and i didn't enter anything i uh, run this again which was run so what i'm going to do i'm going to interrupt the kernel i'm going to run this again so now it works let's say my luggage is 120 now we are paying 800 dollars again let's say my luggage is 35 we are not paying anything it says you can your luggage is checked in there is no extra fee and then let's say my luggage is just 10 pound and then it says you can take your luggage as a carry-on have a nice trip okay great so this was a good example of else if let me see if i have a participation point for you for this lecture okay so here is a participation point for this lecture. Assuming uh, that variable n has a value of 10 and variable valid has a value false which of the following is true statement okay so one n is greater than two and valid two n is less than 2 and valid 
3 n is greater than 2 and not valid or n is less than 2 or valid so which of, which of these is true uh, and when you are answering this question for example if you chose any of these you should write down exactly uh, why for example if result of this part is false or true and if result of this part is false uh, or true uh, it will um, lead you to for example true and false or true or false and you should exactly uh, tell me how you are making this decision uh, to reach a true statement okay let me know if you have any question take care of yourself i will see you later